Hello everyone and welcome back to the stone root pack here who are... Oh, that's an eagle flying in our general direction. Oh, it's not an eagle that's attacking us though. There's just stranger wolves. Uh, did they... Oh, they... The territory is, uh... The territory is in a real state here. Also, the pups are pretty hungry. Fortunately, no one is sick at the present moment here, as you can see. And the pups do have their names, so we'll talk about that more in a little bit when we can actually look at them and we're not just completely under attack. Where do these guys come from? Oh, it's just one. Get out. Who are you? Prospect Peak 4F. Yeah, you can leave. Wait a minute. Prospect Peak. Holy cow. What is Prospect Peak doing? They're like encircling us. What in the world? Prospect Peak seems to have it out for the Wayfinders and their descendants because they were the ones who were giving Cricket a hard time too. But I think we are safe. I was worried about that eagle in the sky, but I guess that wasn't what I needed to be concerned about. Well, let's call the pups out. We'll play with them a little bit, and we will take an official look at them now that they have their names. So, of course, these are names that you guys did suggest, and I do want to say a great big thank you to you guys for sending all of these in. We've got a lot of great options, and unfortunately, I can only use a handful of them, but I do appreciate everyone sending them in. There's no way. Yeah, we can't. We can't feed them. But we have Root, we have Shale, we have Vernal, and we have Mouse. Mouse is possibly our runt here, so I thought it'd be kind of cute to give her name reflecting that a little bit of course shale has kind of that stone colored uh coat color there root is named a little bit after the pack of course we are the stone root pack because well stone and roots <laughs> and vernal pertains to spring and that was just kind of a fun name to go with these seasons and tumbleweed is off doing tumbleweed things okay um oh i guess we boosted up a lot of that so he's off to mark some of that territory let's i guess send these guys back in the den and we'll see if we can really quickly find something to eat here and then i guess tumbleweed's also going to go do his own thing so we'll we'll see if we can go somewhere else there's not really anywhere else that super needs going to, though, right now, so I guess we'll just see if we can manage to pull off a hunt. Ugh, these mule deer are gonna be frustrating, I can tell already. They're trying to swim across here. I'm gonna see if I can head them back towards the shore. Yes, that might be good. If we can keep them out of the floods and just scare them back towards our den, that would be ideal, although they're just swimming around right in the middle of the creek. Look at this. Look how frustrating this is. It's the flood stage of year, so that's uh, a little bit of a difficult time, but I think our best bet is going to be Mule Deer, because if you guys are not familiar with Autumn's Challenge, we missed out on that. Basically, if she takes an injury from an animal, she can't hunt that animal again, unless all of the huntable species except for hares manage to injure her, in which case we'll loop back to whatever has the uh, least injuries to hunts, pretty much. So if we have something that has three hunts and one injury, we'll prioritize it over something that has only two hunts and one injury and so on and so forth and right now the two prey that we're able to use to hunt are mule deer and elk we have not taken an injury from either of those but we have been injured by that's a moose both beaver and mule deer oh speaking of beavers there's one right here i guess it's because we've been injured by both of those we're not allowed to hunt either of them and we have to resort to hunting mule deer and or elk so mule deer is probably going to be easier for, well, it might not be easier actually. No, don't you heck and dare get out of the water. In fact, I'd really like this mule deer to run the other direction entirely. We're going quite far from our den. We're going to get into a fight with Prospect Peak if we can't, if we're not careful here. Um, but I think this might be a little bit, I, I don't know, maybe, why did I think this was easier? Honestly, at this time of year, it may have been easier to hunt the elk, but I'm kind of a little bit scared of what will happen if mule deer ends up being our last prey source, because Autumn is not a very fast wolf, so these guys can be kind of difficult for her to catch. Uh, that said, we're going to try to run this guy down, see if we can wear it out. Well, or, I guess gal in this case. We're going to try to run her down, see if we can wear her out, and hopefully then be able to hunt her successfully. And fortunately, she is heading back in the direction of the den, which is a little bit better off for us. Oh, oh my goodness, how did you just trample damage us and then run into the creek? Okay, good, she's not going to go all the way in the creek. I tried to go for a bite, and she just... Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a whole beaver here. We're just crashing into them. They're constantly causing us trouble, even when we're not getting attacked by them. No, don't you stand on the other side of the beaver pond like that. I'm hunting you, and there's no getting away from it. Also, get out of here, coyotes. We don't need you around. 
If we can just land one bite, that's going to make this a lot easier, but it is not easy to accomplish that when we're dealing with mule deer. She is turning, though, so maybe... Nope, I think... Oh, we did! We did! Okay, if we can just get a little bit of a uh, little bit of a bite there, that's going to make this a lot easier. Now, we do need to still track her, but I want her go to go the other direction, because we're going to go very far from the den, and that's going to be super inconvenient. Ah, uh, she's headed right for the creek. No, don't you do it! Don't you do it! She's going for the beaver pond. We can skirt around the edge, though. Oh, that might have bought her us more time than it lost. That might have lost her more time than it bought her. Okay, stay out of the water. Oh, you jerk! No! Oh my goodness! And there's swimming bison that way too. Oh, uh, this hunt has just not gone well for Autumn. But I'm too stubborn to give it up right now. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna chase her down. I'm hoping she'll start to wear out. The prey animals do have stamina too. I'm just hoping she's not replenishing it as quickly as we can by standing still here. Oh, she's thinking she's gonna swim. Which side are you gonna hop out on? Yeah, you gotta pick. You gotta pick. She's gonna go for the other side. Okay, I can cut over here by the beaver dam. All right, no, 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 no. Oh, she's going back in. No, are you serious? We're playing a ring around the rosy with the beaver pond. Oh, we got a good chance. We got a good chance. I'm waiting for her to wear out a little bit more, which she might be doing because we actually are gaining on her quite a lot here. Oh, yes, I think we're wearing her down. All right, we're doing quite a bit of damage too. I bet her stamina may be quite low. Okay, this is a good chance because the more hurt she gets, the harder of a time she's going to have. Okay, no, 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 no. You're not going in the water. Excuse me. No, no, no. You turn right around. You turn right around. I'm trying to cut her off so she doesn't go in the creek. Oh, no, you don't. No, you do not. No, you do not. I don't have much stamina. No, get out of the creek. Oh, my goodness. Okay, no, she is turning again. She is turning again. Goodness, though, what a, what a wild goose chase this has been. We might be able to get another bite. At the very least, I think she's heard enough that she's having to slow down. But gosh, this has been a time. I think we'll get her now, though, because she is fairly hurt. We just need to make sure. And unfortunately, I think she's pretty far from the den, yeah. And I don't... Did, did Tumbleweed go back? Maybe we just can't see him on the map. Oh, we lost our stamina. Oh, he did go back. All right, we will still have to mark the territory then, I think. Let's just let her... Oh, I didn't let my stamina go up enough, though. No. All right, we can stop for a moment. Now that she's slowed down significantly, it won't be quite as bad. We'll have to see. I didn't notice if Tumbleweed got food. We'll see if he did get enough to eat, and if he did, we don't have to worry about bringing him back food, because that's kind of a pain to do. All right, oh, you can turn around a little bit. We could cheese this and just run her very far back in the direction of the den, but I don't really feel like doing that. So we'll just see if we need to call him over. All right, there we go. Let's howl. We'll make sure we mark this just in case it persists. And then we do have to loop around the top of the territory and make sure we get that marked. But that's going to be easier to do while Tumbleweed is here. He really did not get food, though. All right, I guess I'm calling him over here and we're just going to have to make this quick. Really pushing my luck here, and I don't think that's a good thing, but this territory here is decaying pretty badly. So we're gonna mark it, and then we need to run back because the pups are about to leave. Also, I found a shovel, so I'm taking it with me. But boy, we need to get back to the den. We, we need to be back to the den like three minutes ago, and our stamina's going, so that's not ideal either. But the problem is it would be slower to send Tumbleweed back because he's gonna walk. So we just got to hurry and hope. Oh boy. Okay, I can see the den, but we've got a little bit of a run. We've got some stamina so we can sprint part of the way. But we're cutting it very close here. Um, Yeah, this is not ideal. Tumbleweed, what are you doing? Don't crash into me. No, Root! Behave yourself! Behave yourself, son! What are you doing? Get back in the den! Get back in the den! Oh no, this is not good. We're very close at least. Sir? Sir? No? No, excuse me. I mean, I don't mind y'all popping out of the den now, but excuse me. I mean, I guess they are pretty hungry. Oh yeah, some of them are down to... Some of them are down very low. Holy cow, this is why we needed to hunt. Well, that was a crisis narrowly averted. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna feed these guys a lot, and then we're gonna have to hunt again just entirely next time. Also, that's an eagle. 
Nope, we're putting them in the back of the den. Back in the den, back in the den, back in the den, back in the den. I think it's keeping root. Please go. Back in the den, root. Root, back in the den. You, sir, are becoming a problem. This is the pup who was sick the last time. Buddy. Buddy. Go. All right. I think the eagle might have left. All right, I think we'll be fine. The other thing that I want to do is this hex over here, I'm going to leave them with tumbleweed. Okay, good, he is staying, because they're not going to stay in that den, let me tell you. The other thing I want to do is just quickly pop over this hex. We're actually going to move the scent post to be right here in easy range, because I did not do that the last time. But then we're like, we're, we're, we're going to be done. We're going to go back, we're going to play with the pups, and we're going to sleep, because, uh, yeah, um... We're tired. We, we need a nap, and we're gonna... Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Get out! Get out! Who are you? Prospect Peak, get out! Get out! Yeah, you better leave. Get out of my territory! This is why it's going down. I'm gonna bite that tail of yours if you don't get it out of my turf. Yeah, they're going back towards their territory now. That was possibly another stranger wolf on the way, but they thought they could claim that, so it's a good thing I went to check it out. But yeah, we're gonna go back to the den. We're gonna play with the pups, and we are gonna take a nap, because holy smokes, we are tired. All right, it is daytime again. The fully load is going up. The affinity is absolutely abysmal. I guess the fully load's only at, like... It's only at 30%. It's not too bad. But, uh, yeah, um... Things are going okay at the moment. I'm just scanning for anything moving around here. We gotta get this affinity up. And as for the territory, we've got a little bit that needs marking, but it's not too bad. So I may actually have... Oh, that's a stump. Sometimes when you turn the camera and something, like, takes a second to, to shift into... Oh, goodness, and this is as much as... Oh, tumbleweed's on top of the den. When this is as much as, like, when when you turn something and it takes a second to stop moving, sometimes it registers as movement in my brain. <laughs> and it's always terrifying. But I don't see anything approaching. Tumbleweed's just kind of doing the rounds as well. I think I may... I may just leave him here. He's leaving. Now, Tumbleweed, this time I think I want to go out and do the marking this time. I, I say that because part of it is that yesterday he left and went and marked one hex and then came back. And I was like, well, well, now I have to mark everything else. But we'll try to do some hunting. We'll try to do... Yes, please, please go back to back to the den. Back to the den. Um, We'll leave him with the pups. All the pups are going to the den. Okay. He can stay here with them. We'll let them stay in the den for a little bit. But I just want to make sure we take care of this. And then um, we can go ahead and probably try to find the either an, the elk or a mule deer and do some more hunting. Because these pups, they're so darn hungry. Goodness. <laughs> oh, there's mule deer, mule deer right here, actually. We'll see if we can maybe catch one. Possibly. Possibly. Perhaps. We're still allowed to hunt, and we haven't taken an injury from one yet, although knock on wood about that, I guess, uh, because this is when we're gonna- this is probably when we're going to. We've, ha we've had too many successful hunts in a row. We've had a lot of success with the mule deer, though, but we're probably not gonna get a bite this time, unfortunately. She is turning, though. Even just a little bite. Tumbleweed, are you running behind me? He's running behind me, isn't he? Tumbleweed, you're supposed to be watching the pups. What are you doing, man? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I guess having him along for the hunt might not be bad. But after he eats, I'm sending him back to the pups. I don't want them out here by themselves. That's a whole cougar over there as well. Just chilling. Oh, she turned a lot. That's a good chance. That's a good opportunity to catch up. Usually when you're going to get the opportunities to bite, it's when they make a sudden sharp turn like that. And that gives you a good chance to catch up. Oh, we are gaining. Yes, we got a bite. Yes, we got a bite. All right, our stamina is not great, but Tumbleweed, well, he bit for a second and then got kicked. But uh, yeah, ooh, and we got some good damage on this one. Okay, I'm going to... Oh. We still got still got kicked there, but it's okay. We've done enough damage that she should slow down, which is good because Autumn's speed is not the best. She's trying, but she's not fast. <laughs> and I think we can get the I think we can get the mule deer now. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right, a little bit more. Well, we're probably not gonna probably not gonna be able to do this with uh with that much stamina. Okay, come here. There we go. And there we go. You know, 
I'm frightened. I'm frightened to say it, but we really haven't taken many injuries. We've gotten two. We've gotten two. And I'm I'm a little bit afraid for what that means. <laughs> because uh yeah, um I am very worried that's gonna change. I'm thankful it hasn't so far, but we got a lot of litter left. We are only at eight pounds for mouse who may be our runt. So we got some time for, for things to go south. Well, we found a bison carcass. It is in Prospect Peak territory. I might just claim this if that's not too far, just to ensure that they stay out of my hair about it. But I don't even know if that carcass will stay there. But it might be worth going for. We're, we're gonna try, although I do smell them in this direction. Are they... They may have been here recently. We're, we're just gonna claim over this temporarily so that I don't... or I have less likelihood of getting jumped. But free food's free food. Uh, we don't need food right now. Yeah, we'll just we'll just take this for now, just so that hopefully they, they will leave the carcass alone? I don't know. We'll, we'll see if it's even worth that, but we've marked most of this. We're gonna mark this one on the way back, so I think we're gonna do that and then head home and hopefully have the chance to actually get the affinity up a bit more because, man, that's that's been the struggle. Okay, we have made it back. It looks like Tumbleweed is hanging out with the pups here, and we brought back a hare. I don't know if he will eat it or if we'll just end up feeding it to it, or feeding the pups and then having it ourselves here. Although the pups are actually fairly well fed, so maybe we'll just leave it here for a bit. Uh, yeah, Tumbleweed seems to have fed them, and he's still at 100% food, so that's not too bad. But everyone seems to be doing fairly well, which is good. We're going to just play with these guys a little bit. And I think we are going to go ahead and wrap this up here because it is going to be about that time again. And we are starting to get tired. The territory now is buffed up, except for this one random 5% hex that has a carcass in it because I don't actually care if it sticks around. It's mostly just meant as a slight deterrent for Prospect Peak coming in and eating the entirety of that carcass, which may or may not help. We'll have to see. But I think we are going to go ahead and leave this off here for today because it is getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.